Hey YouTube, my name is Ryan and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can scan amiibo cards into your game so that you can get certain villagers invited to your island on Animal Crossing New Horizons. So I had to turn the light off here really quick to show you what I'm talking about. For those that don't know, these are amiibo cards. They are cards depicting certain villagers and you can use these cards to get the depicted villager on the card invited to your campsite uh, on your island. This is really helpful if you're trying to get certain villagers that fit a specific aesthetic that you're trying to go for on your island. It also helps if there's a certain personality of villager that you prefer talking to on a daily basis invited to your island as well. Now before you can use the cards to invite the villagers to your island, there are a few things that you need to take care of first. So the first thing that you need to take care of is you need to turn your resident services tent into a resident services building. Up on the screen somewhere around here, you're going to see a list of the things that you need to do in order to accomplish that. Now, most of this stuff is actually done within the first couple of days that you start playing the game. It's kind of like the tutorial for the game. So you should hopefully have this part pretty much taken care of already. Once you have the resident services building built, Tom Nook will then give you a campsite kit, which you need to place down on your island somewhere. And this is what you use in order to invite villagers to your island. Now, the first time you set this up, you'll get a random villager no matter what. It, think of it again as like a tutorial for how this works. You'll get a random villager. You need to build a house for them to move into, and then they will just move into it the next day. No question, no tasks needed. They will simply just move in. They love your island that much. Once that villager has moved into their new home, Tom Nook will then talk to you about wanting to then invite more villagers and residents to your town, at which point you will unlock the invite a village villager feature up on the nook stop here at the resident services center which you'll see right here invite a camper so this is where the amiibo card comes into play first you're going to select invite a camper do you want to use an amiibo to invite an animal to the campsite you're gonna hit yes i do please prepare the amiibo for the animal you want to invite to the campsite so there are two ways that you can use the nfc feature in order to scan the cards if you're using a joy con controller just like it's showing on the screen you're going to hold the animal crossing series amiibo or card to the touch point and it's gonna kick me out because I didn't do it in time. But basically the touch point is, as you saw on the screen, placing it up to the analog stick on the controller itself. Now, if you would prefer to use a pro controller instead, you're gonna hold it up to the Nintendo Switch logo that's kind of in the top middle of the controller. My fiance was kind enough to get me Agent S to add to my island. So I'm going to go ahead and try to get him loaded up onto my game here. All right, so I have the NFC touch point ready to go. I'm gonna take my card. Touched it to the controller. Would you like to invite him or her to the campsite? You're just gonna hit yes. And here we go, Agent S is ready to go. He'll set up camp at the campsite. That's not where it ends. You actually have a little bit of legwork to do. So once that's all done, the villager that you are trying to move onto your island will then have set up camp at the campsite. We're gonna go take a look and there it is. And there we go, Agent S moved into the campsite or rather at the campsite, now ready for you to try to get him to move onto your island. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to want to talk to the villager a couple of times. What you're trying to do is you're trying to activate a prompt where the villager then asks you to craft them a specific item. A shell bed made on this island. What do you think that would look like? I'll make one for you. Here you go then, the recipe for a shell bed. Awesome thing about this, when they ask for an item, if you don't currently have the recipe for the item they're looking for, they will just give you the recipe. So that's pretty cool too. Sorry to rush you, but can you bring it today? I'm going home tomorrow. Why do you need to bring it to them today? Because you actually need to do this three times in a row. What you're going to do is on the first day they're here, they'll ask you for an item, you'll bring it to them. As you keep talking to them, and I'll show it here in a moment, you'll eventually get to a point where you'll ask them to move onto your island and they'll say no. Let's go ahead and try to do that right now really quick. Okay, got a shell bed ready to go. Let's go ahead and craft it for Agent S here. Did I make the shell bed that you asked for? I certainly did. Here it is for you right here. Take this Prezius Thanks and Argyle Vest so you'll get something in return for giving the item to the villager. You'll have to invite me to come camping again, sidekick. So again, as I said earlier, not immediately ready to move on to the island. We're gonna talk a few times. All right, so here we go. I vibe with this island really well. I low-key don't ever wanna go home, sidekick. So now we're gonna ask if you wanna live here. For realsies, I'd be down, but I need to pass. I've got a metric ton of glitter back home and that stuff is tray pricey to ship. Maybe I'll be able to move here some other time, sidekick. That's the first 
declining of the invite. Now, as I said earlier, you're going to have to do this two more times. Just like you did earlier, you're going to go to the Nook stop. You're going to scan in the Amiibo card. You're going to have Agent S or whatever villager you're trying to get set up camp again. They're going to ask for another item. You're going to bring them that item. You're going to ask them to move it again, and they're going to say no. On the third day, that's when they will say yes. I don't really care if people time skip or time travel in this game, but for the sake of my playthrough, I'm not going to do that, and so I'm not going to show that. Even though I'm not going to show this next part, I do want to make you aware of something that you should do and shouldn't do before you ask them to come to your island. When you ask them to come to your island on that third day, you want to make sure that you go to resident services and you want to make sure that you get a plot of land sold so that the villager has somewhere to move into. If there's nowhere to go, then obviously there's nowhere for them to move into. What you don't want to do is you don't want to buy a plot of land on the first or second day. What will happen if you do this is there's a chance that another random villager will will end up buying that plot of land before you have a chance to get that villager that you really want moved in and you'll have to either buy another plot of land or if you've reached your residence capacity, which is 10, not including you, you'll have to kick someone out. For instructions on how to kick out a villager, I don't currently have a video like that yet and it's like a whole different process. I <laughs> Maybe I'll make a video on that in the future. But otherwise, once you have a plot of land set aside for that villager to move into the very next day, just like the original villager that you got set up at the campsite the first time, they'll be moved in and all ready to go and there you go job well done for a <laughs> sequence that takes quite a bit of work so that will do it for how to scan amiibo cards into your game and get them moved into your island if you had any questions about anything you just saw please feel free to leave a comment down below otherwise i hope the video was well laid out and explained pretty pretty clearly as always if you've learned something or enjoyed the video be sure to give the video a like also be sure to subscribe to the channel for more animal crossing videos in the future. I'm also going to plug that I stream Animal Crossing currently on Twitch Saturday and Sunday mornings and Wednesday evenings at twitch.tv slash RyanFTW. If you have any questions about the game, you can always visit me there, catch the stream live. You can also hang out with the community we're building over there. It's a pretty good time. Otherwise, that'll do it for me for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one.